Okay, hey, this is Mega here. Got a little project here. This is a uh, project uh, ghetto performance intake for my <laughs> Toyota Previa. So, so here it is. I have this big, ugly uh, Toyota um, airbox, at least the bottom section of it. So, uh, this is, uh, this is the airbox. And so, what I've done is that, uh, well, in California, we have this thing called a smog check program. And every two years, I gotta take my van there, and and I have a I have an open element filter installed on my uh, where my AFM is in the in the van, and uh, and I have to take it off every year, every two years. It's, it's such a fucking pain in the ass, and this thing takes up a lot of space in my garage. So I said, fuck it, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it back in uh, and just leave it there this time. Um, I don't really need the extra space in the in the. You can't even call it engine bay because there's no engine. The the accessory bay. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is uh, so what I did is I drilled a crap ton of holes on it. Um, so I did this with my uh, Toyota van, uh, my 1986 Toyota van. Uh, I drilled the air box because because uh, there was like no cold air intake stuff for that that van. Um, but uh, what I did is I drilled the air the air intake so we get better airflow. Um, so it's basically comes a cold a um a open element air filter so i guess the good thing about this is well it's still a restrictive intake but uh but it has a snorkel here it has a cold air snorkel so uh, you'll get cold air in there but and then it'll suck air from the engine bay too though so it'll kind of mix together but the good thing is uh the engine bay doesn't get hot. Uh, the the accessory bay doesn't get hot in the Previa too much because the engine isn't there. The engine is ba is under the under the van. So so yeah. So there it is. I drilled a bunch of holes in it. Um, surprisingly, I'll show you what I drilled it with. Uh, but surprisingly, I uh, it's the plastic was very brittle, especially the stuff on the back here. Um, I use here this Dewalt drill with like the biggest drill bit I had in my my drill bit set. And, uh, and I drilled the crap out of it. Um, so what I did is I drilled the, the right side, um, yeah, the right side and the back. So when they do the smog check, they're not gonna see the holes. <laughs> uh, if I did the front, um, that wouldn't help. Uh, well, I mean, they would probably, they'd probably see it. Um, and then the side, they'd probably see it. So it's gonna suck air from the bottom and the side of the, of the air box. Um, and then through the snorkel here. So, so I think that's kind of cool. Um, uh, so, so that's uh, my ghetto stealthy, stealthy uh, performance intake for the Previa. So also I have here. Here we have the it's the top portion of it, and uh, and it has an AFM in there. Uh, it's some uh, and actually it's a, it's another AFM that I got from the junkyard. <laughs> but um. I'm just gonna leave it on there from now on. That way, I don't have to mess with it anymore. Um, so yeah, and then I think eventually I will get a. Um, after this one gets dirty, I'm gonna put a um, a Canon filter. The this Canon OEM filters um, should go in here. It's pretty. It's actually it's actually super clean. Wait, wait. Why is the? That's kind of weird. Uh, I think this is backwards. It's supposed to be like this. Yeah, the dirty side is not supposed to be on the bottom. So yeah, so the filter will go in there like this. Yeah, I had it in there backwards. <laughs> um, the only problem I see with this, see that's a that's a horrible restriction right there. See, see how the air it comes, it goes, it has to go up and like and around. So, so it's like kind of like a 180 degree bend. It's it's a fucking horrible design. Um, but oh, hopefully, uh, hopefully they won't take too much horsepower away from my van. But it's gonna be like this. Basically, and the clips are gonna be on there. So we'll get on the van and then, uh, and then um, go smog it. I guess I'll show you what it looks like when it's in there. Uh, that is a Hades Omega super stealthy ghetto performance filter for air filter for the for Toyota Previa 91 Toyota Previa. All right. Um, yeah. So I, I made sure and cleaned up all the, all the little, um, the little, the extra plastic. Um, it, I took a good amount of plastic out. I already put it in the garbage, but I took a picture of what it looked like, of what the, um, what the plastic shavings look like. 
there was quite a bit of them. Um, now I could probably drill the, the snorkel a bit, but yeah, I mean, I guess it helps a bit. Um, yeah, so so we're gonna put this piece of crap back in the van, um, and uh, maybe we'll get better gas mileage. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll get more power. I I seriously doubt it'll do anything. <laughs> now that I think about it, um, but yeah. There it is. Uh, well, hopefully it passes smog. It, it passed smog with us before, so I don't see why it wouldn't. All right, here's the make here. So uh, here's a. Uh, this is the intake that's currently in my Toyota Previa. It's a. It is like a elbow. And I kind of shoved into the, the elbow right here, and this this long ass pipe goes to the engine, um, the the throttle body. So basically I just need to take this out and then take this out and then the whole thing just comes out. It's pretty simple. It kind of just sits there. I've never had I've had it like this for a long time. The what I don't like about this um, configuration is it gets dirty real fast. The the open element filter gets really dirty fast. Uh, I don't even remember the last time I cleaned it though, so <laughs> it's probably it's probably time to clean it. But anyway, I'm just like I said, I'm just gonna ditch this. Um, I'm tired of taking it off. It it doesn't really doesn't it's really not that hard to take off but you know I just I just don't want to do it every two years you know it's that lazy <laughs> and then I'm gonna put that piece of junk in there uh, that now is a semi performance intake so uh, let's go ahead and do it okay I got it in there geez uh, well what can I say man it's it's a fucking bitch getting that thing back in there um, I could I can only put one of the of the three bolts in there um, I think the problem is the snorkel here, it clamps in down there. There's another, there's a, uh, um, there's another duct that goes in there. I have to say, uh, there's quite a lot of uh, cold air ducting in here. It's pretty amazing. Um, I thought about everything. Uh, but yeah, um, the snorkel I think has to go in there more. So it's like, it's kind of like crooked like this, but it'll still run like that, it's okay. Um, it's just I couldn't mount, I couldn't put the one down there and the bolt in here. The only bolt I put in was over there. But anyway, this thing's a real bitch. I'm not, I'm not gonna take it out anymore. It's a fucking pain in the ass. Uh, it would be easier if uh, you could take the battery out and do it, but I'm gonna smog the van, so if I take the battery out, um, all the data and the ECU is gonna get wiped out and then I have to drive it more, so. So then, um, so I don't wanna do that. Uh, so there it is, it's in there. Um, yeah, it's kind of a bitch. Uh, definitely, this is not something you want to work on if you got like really big arms. <laughs> there's a there's a little clip here, 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 and then there's one like hiding way back here. And then uh, and then this it kind of lifts off here, and then you can pull the filter out. But it's a fucking pain in the ass, man. I hate it. Um, I just uh, I guess just be thankful it's not the supercharged one. The supercharged one is even worse. It's uh, there's like no room on this side on the supercharged version. Um, yeah, so well, hopefully it'll pass smog like this. Uh, and uh, look at that! Can you tell I drilled the airbox at all? No. <laughs> all the all the holes are underneath here, and and over here on the side, and like back there. Um, you can't tell I drilled it at all anywhere else. So, so now I mean now it's sucking air from like here, down there, and then behind the engine. Um, and there's nothing hot back there. The only thing that's producing heat here is probably the fan. And the um, the radiator, um, yeah, which probably you should, probably shouldn't suck air from there. But oh well, whatever. When you're when you're moving, it's gonna it's gonna blow cold over in there. So um, let's go fire it up. Okay, the moment of truth. Does it start? The only reason I could think it wouldn't start is if I didn't hook the AFM up properly. There it is. It works. Good. Alright, good stuff. Now let's uh, go past the box. <laughs> Alright, here's my go.